All right, so we're gonna go head to head on the OM Tech 60 watt autofocus laser versus the Eon Mira 7. Uh, we're both looking at 60 watt lasers, but I wanna compare the two and kind of share that with you guys and kind of give you my pros and cons on uh, both of them. And maybe it helps you decide which machine is gonna be best for you. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so we're gonna go right out the gate with the pricing on it. So yes, OM Tech is cheaper. So the OM Tech autofocus 60 watt laser, this doesn't include any additional accessories, uh, light burn or anything else, just straight machine. The OM Tech autofocus uh, is gonna run you $2,900. That's cheap, right? Your Eon laser, uh, for the 60 watt version, the Mirror 7 is going to cost you around eight grand, just a few dollars short or shy of that. Uh, this doesn't include shipping, taxes. This is just the price on their website um, that they have for the, the 60 watt. Now, they have a 40 watt, but like I said, we're going to compare the, the 60 watt lasers uh, today. So, um, Let's go back and let's talk more about the OMTEC um, 60 watt laser. So the 60 watt laser net weight is 250 pounds. Um, yeah, they're, they're not light machines. I own a OMTEC 60 watt laser. They're not light machines, but they do have casters on them, which makes it nice. Uh, your overall dimensions are gonna be 47 by 34 by 37. So uh, that's the main thing that I talk about is, you know, the, the size, like where are you going to put it? Is it going to be too big? Uh, whereas your Mira 7 is going to be 43 and a half by 34 and three quarters by 28 and five eighths. Uh, the machine itself is 392 pounds. And according to the website, it doesn't look like uh, it comes with the base. This is just the machine by itself. So the base is extra uh, on that. So uh, 43, 34, 20 uh, compared to, yeah. So uh, the OM Tech is, is a little bit bigger as far as the machine size itself. Uh, the working area, that's the biggest thing is you know, choosing the right machine, you know, for the material that you're going to, you know, use. So the working area or working size on the OM Tech is 20 by 28. Uh, let's see, whereas the Mira 7 is 17 and 3 quarters by 27 and a half. Um, you can bump up to the Mira 9, which is a bigger bed. Uh, but again, uh, we're trying to keep this uh, apples to apples uh, as far as the size goes uh, on that. So let's jump back over here to the OM Tech uh, on that. Uh, both of them will hook up to a 110 outlet. So you don't have to have any, any crazy uh, 220 or any electrical you know, ran. Uh, I'm sure they suggest it to be on a independent breaker um, and I'm sure they have that, uh, but I don't see, see where they list, uh, uh, amperage 15 amp dedicated circuit for the Eon. Um, let's see. I don't see anything for, for the Ohm tech on their website, but I would assume, you know, 15, 20 amp, um, you definitely want to check with Ohm tech on that for sure. Um, but just know that 110 outlet and you're fine. Uh, the one cool thing that I like is that you can use light burn on either machine. And the cool thing is you can use it on Windows or Mac. Uh, so one thing that I like about these two machines is that light burn is not a browser based software. So if your internet goes down um, or say your you're looking at someone that has a browser base and their website goes down for whatever reason, then you still can make and create things on your laser machine without having to worry about that. So uh, just know that Lightburn, in my opinion, is, is the best option to go.
Um, and of course, that's that is an extra cost. Um, I want to say it's around like eighty dollars, give or take. So definitely look into that if Lightburn uh, is is a good option for you. But I highly suggest it. A lot of videos, a lot of content on it that helps you um, set up your lasers and uh, and run jobs. So really cool stuff. So let's see. Good thing is both lasers are going to be the same in the sense that it can cut uh, wood or in, and engrave wood, uh, leather. Uh, let's see acrylic. Um, let's see if there's any other things that it says it uh, can cut. Um, Let's see, OMTEC says uh, wood, leather, rubber, paper, uh, plastics, fabric, cardboard, foam, MDF. Uh, and you can engrave almost that. It even says you can engrave on marble. I haven't tried marble, maybe one of these days. Uh, plastics, yes, but I would be careful on the types of plastics that you engrave. You definitely want to know uh, what ones uh, you can without it being harmful. So definitely make sure that... Uh, uh, you're engraving the right type of material for sure and let's see so realistically Eon and OMTech are going to be able to cut and engrave uh, the same uh, type of material I mean most of these lasers are built for just that but uh, let's see one thing that you want to look at is your stepper motors and the, the main thing that Sorry guys, if y'all hear that sound, uh, they decide that they want to do a uh, tornado test today. Um, so the the main thing is your speeds on your stepper motors. Uh, Eon is probably going to have better stepper motors. That's the main thing. You're paying for quality with Eon. Uh, you're going to have better parts. Uh, probably going to last longer. Probably going to be uh, faster. So. Uh, they're saying that their speeds are up to 1200 millimeters per second uh, whereas let's see if we can find anything on OMTech's website for speed um, let's see yeah I'm not don't see anything on speed that's kind of unfortunate um, if there's nothing well uh that's the only thing millimeter speed uh 23.62 inches per second i want to know inches to millimeters 599 so there you go guys half the speed of the eon laser so not quite as fast by a long shot. So definitely better stepper motors on the Eon laser for sure. Um, and that's gonna help you when you're, you're engraving, when you're cutting, well, more engraving, I would say, uh, cleaner, smoother engraver, engraving, rather. Um, you know, Eon, uh, they, they say 90% less space needed, 30% increase in efficiency, uh, because it can reach up to those uh, speeds of 1500 millimeters per second 80% uh, reduction in maintenance so that's probably because uh, yeah so like your your rails uh, you know bearings how they set it up to reduce uh, any dust and debris getting caught in places that it doesn't need to be um, really OMTEC doesn't doesn't have any of that uh, it some of their features say flame retardant material, uh, widen viewing window. So, I mean, that does help. Both of them have path, pass through um, uh, windows so that you can open up the front and you can pass through a larger piece of material. So that's always a plus. Uh, most of your machines these days are gonna have that. Uh, this is really where I think Eon shines uh, between the the material that they use, the stepper motors, the parts are better quality. 
Um, the other thing is we're going to get into the warranties. So again, Eon shines on this, but you're paying a premium. So you got to understand that. Um, the looks like frame is two years. The main thing that I look at is uh, the tube. So there's uh, a couple different ones. Um, it's probably going to be around a, a 10 month warranty. Now you can do extended warranties for additional costs. So they do offer 20 month, uh, 30 month on the tube, the frame two years. And then of course they offer three and four. So uh, they offer a warranty on, on the frame, like everything's included, the frame, the control panel, the rails, power supply, uh, the blower, pulleys, belts, the chiller, you get a chiller. Uh, some of Eons uh, have built-in chillers, but uh, I don't believe this one does. Um, and let's go over to the the own tech. So this is where where it lacks, you know, and you can tell in the price. Um, your tubes are only going to have a three-month warranty on the tubes and power supply. You only get a one-year warranty on the parts and hardware so yeah i'm not i'm not liking that yo it's uh it's a lot lower uh three month does not give you give you a lot of time you know unless you just go out the gate running and start you know making a lot of material so that you can test your machine and make sure it's going to last but um and then of course they have limited warranties on refurbished machines, but oh guys, nope. Let's back up, back up. Let's see here. Uh, new machines that that was for refurbished machines. So uh, the one year warranty on machines, and then the three month on the tube is for refurbished machines. Uh, the new machines, uh, two years warranty on parts and hardware, uh, but again only a year a year on the laser tube. Um, so about the same within a couple months. Now, if you get some of their higher end tubes from Eon, um, they have a 16 month warranty, but again, you can, you can get the, uh, the extended warranty. Uh, so one year, if you get a, oh guys, okay. I should read a little bit more before, uh, saying this. So the 70 watt is a one year warranty from Ohm Tech. The 60 watt is only six months. So just know that OM Tech 60 watt, your laser tube is only uh, warranted for six months. Um, not saying it can't happen. Uh, mine's been going good for, for a few years. Uh, so, so we've been fine there. So, um, so here's the breakdown. Yes, the Mira 9 is more expensive, but you're going to get better parts, better quality, better warranty, but you're also going to pay a premium. The Ohm Tech, if you're tech savvy, uh, mechanically inclined, then that might be the option for you. Uh, it's a budget friendly machine uh, and can get the job done. Um, now support, this is where I hear that uh, your support is going to be better through Eon you know, than Ohm Tech. Um, I know Ohm Tech offers uh, some uh, some support where you can pay, I want to say like $50 an hour for them, <clears throat> excuse me, for them to uh, talk to you. Whereas Eon, um, you know, they can, they offer remote access uh, where it looks like, uh, looks like they offer a couple different options for you so you can open a ticket let's see so we can go through here and see what it shows but i hear from a lot of people that om tech uh or excuse me eon definitely offers better support uh, for their machines uh, and the fact that they're stateside uh, might help out there too um, so that's really my breakdown. My conclusion is that, yeah, Eon is definitely a better machine overall, 
But at the end of the day, it's what works best for you. It's what's within your budget and what uh, you want it to you know, produce. What do you want it to cut or engrave? Whether or not you need that OM Tech laser and save the money or you need something that's gonna be more reliable, someone, uh, something that you can reach out to the company if you do have issues. So there is a reason for paying more for a high quality, quality item uh, than just going with the cheapest one. So I hope this helps you out in your decision between the two. If you have any questions, comments, definitely leave them below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you got value out of this video. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.